So there's some cultures like the Inuits that do the ketogenic diet all the time, right? It's how they live. They eat whale blubber, they eat fish, they eat high amounts of omega-3s, all this and that. How come they have pretty decent health markers, but they don't get the keto flu or anything like that? Well, there's some interesting evidence as to why, and it's gonna blow your mind. Hey, I do wanna make sure you hit that red subscribe button and please hit the bell icon. And then after this video, check out Thrive Market down below in the description. Now, I'm not just saying it because Thrive Market is a supporter of the channel. I'm saying it because I do legitimately use them, okay? When it comes down to ordering ketogenic snacks and ketogenic foods for my pantry just to have pantry staples, they are bar none my favorite, okay? They delivered right to my doorstep, super easy and convenient. They're always getting new products and always new things, and I've been working with them for years, and they still amaze me with the kinds of products that they get in stock. So highly recommend that you check them out. That way you don't have to go to the grocery store, you save a bunch of time, save a bunch of effort, it just comes right to your doorstep. And one of my favorite things, like I've said recently, is when I travel, I can just have it show up at the Airbnb. That way I've just got a bunch of goodies and I don't even have to hit the grocery store. So highly recommend you check them out down below in the description. Okay, so here's what's wild. There's a few different things that are going on as to why the Inuits that do a ketogenic diet do not suffer from like the keto flu and things like that. It has to do in a couple of ways with epigenetics. Now that's kind of the boring part. So I'll save that for a minute. Epigenetics is like basically their bodies are adapted generationally. But what's really wild is there's a study that was published in the journal Nutrition Metabolism that found that most people that are doing the ketogenic diet that are worrying about a loss of performance or fatigue or keto flu like symptoms, it's generally because they're not compensating for the extra sodium that they're losing. They're losing more sodium on a ketogenic diet and they're not compensating for it. So you're not being able to send the energy that way. So what's wild and what was kind of interestingly discovered, at least on my part, is that the Inuits, for their water source, they are generally consuming melted ice, which is going to have a high sodium content. Okay, there's going to be a good amount of straight seawater that's coming into that. They're not drinking seawater, but the ice that they're consuming is going to have natural amounts of sodium in it. So their sodium values are pretty darn high, which means that they are not dealing with that. They can get that three to five grams of sodium per day that they need. The other piece of the equation that's interesting with the Inuits, they're not doing it for body composition. Now, I have all these tricks up my sleeve when I'm talking to you about how to utilize the ketogenic diet. Okay, I'll, I'll explain to you how we want to go high fat and then low fat and this and that because when I'm talking to you about the ketogenic diet, I'm usually talking to you about how to leverage it for optimal body composition, right? Huge benefits there. But there's a whole other world that we don't really focus on a lot of times, and that's the fact that it's just a nice eating style in general with therapeutic benefits and just different health benefits in general, right? Well, the Inuits aren't sitting there thinking about body composition. That's not their goal. As a matter of fact, having some fat on them is probably a good thing. But if you look at a lot of their blood markers, they are fairly healthy people. Now, outside of body composition, we do have to look at that, right? Okay, now they consume a lot of omega-3s, because they're eating a lot of fish, and any fish that are up in a colder climate are going to have a higher fat content. So they're consuming a good amount of the omega-3s. Those omega-3s are going to quell an inflammatory response. So if you look at the big picture of their culture, it's a largely like not a very inflammatory culture. Okay, If you factor out a lot of the processed foods that are now being brought into that culture, um, you realize that their natural diet is very just high fat, relatively low protein, which gives them the phenomenal fat to protein ratio, which is ideally what we're looking for in the sense of a therapeutic ketogenic diet. One of the mistakes that people make is they're not creating enough ketones. Now, I don't want you to go out there and chase ketones, but if you're trying to do it for a therapeutic lifestyle, then getting a good amount of fat is a good thing, okay? Because your body actually has a chance to upregulate what are called ketolytic enzymes. So they, a lot of times, the Inuit culture, are doing what is called a fat fast. Now, we call it a fat fast. I'll explain in a second. They call it living their life. But basically, the protein content can be so low that they are ultimately marinating their cells in fats, activating what is called PPAR alpha. So they're having this genetic process that is making them fat utilization machines. And it's happening so much within their gene encoding that it has an epigenetic effect generationally. So they are fat adapted beyond fat adapted. 
In fact, one could argue that they are not metabolically flexible because they do not get glucose consumption very much. They do not, so their bodies are not ruthlessly efficient at switching back and forth. But they do not get the keto flu. So you could almost make the argument that it's not necessarily the lack of carbohydrates that is making someone lose their performance or, or be more fatigued on a ketogenic diet. It's usually a little bit more of an electrolyte thing. So it's really interesting and empowering to see how a community like that has thrived utilizing a ketogenic diet. You just have to look at the big picture of what they're eating and how they're doing it right. Anyhow, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.